Yo, what's up guys, AFC Dino, and welcome to a new video. Um, today, I got something really interesting for you guys. I'm going to be playing uh, Hyper Offense again. So we have an Aerodactyl lead. And as you guys can see, we don't have, we don't really have a wall on our team. Um, when you're playing HO, you usually don't really think about switching. And that's basically the, the idea. So we get up, we get up Style Rock with Arrow. And if we can, now we can get up Tailwind. And depending on which Pokemon is going to be the biggest threat on our team, uh, we can definitely put in some work. But yeah, if you guys are interested in the Poke Base, it's going to be on Patreon. But anyway, we have our first battle before us. <laughs> first battle of the day. And let's see how it goes. <laughs> so this guy has a Sedinia. I think and everything aside from Kingdra can hit the Sedinia. So that's good. And I can get up Stealth Rock as well with the Aerodactyl, so it's exactly what we're going to lead up with. He leads up with Rotom, uh, that's fine, we have a Focus Sash. So, we're just going to get up with Rocks, the Ninja's going to die to it, and as long as we don't let him defog, uh, we'll be in an okay position. So, Stealth Rock as we go. I don't know if he goes for defog straight away, but we'll, we won't allow him to... Uh, to get a defog off, basically. I'm gonna taunt him here. Assuming he wants to defog these rocks. He both switches. That's fine. I actually don't have an item on this scissor. Did I forget to put an item onto him? Oh, that's kind of bad. <laughs> well, hopefully, that won't backfire on us. In comes the Conkelder. I'm gonna go into my Dragon Knight, and we're just gonna go for Hurricane. I don't want to drop my special attack uh, right now, so I'm gonna. Hurricane this, so this will knock out the Conkelder. That crit obviously did not matter, but I want to keep the Draco Meteor option in case he wants to go Rotom. Exactly, that's why I didn't want to Draco, because otherwise he would get a free debug off. But now I'm able to go for the Draco Meteor. And I don't know if this will knock him out, but it's definitely going to do quite some damage to him. And he does debug air. Uh, which is fine because the majority of my team will hit the, um, the Sardinia. But I'm pretty free to just Draco again. As he goes Chansey now. But remember, his Rotom is low. Anything on my team will pretty much outspeed. I think Mach Punch will also knock it out. And I can just go for Super Power here. And this, this Dragonite putting in the work because it's weak, it weakened the Rotom. And it also did a lot to this, um, this Chansey. Which goes for Toxic. And I'm just going to click Superpower again. I keep this low so that anything on my team will be able to kill the guy. I don't know if he... I, I don't care if he switches now. Like, I don't care about Dragonite as much at this point. Because this feels like a Scissor win. If I can weaken the Garchomp. So I'll probably use my Weavile. I'll probably use my Weavile to uh, get rid of that. Uh, I can still use Dragonite, so I'm actually gonna go directly into Weavile. If I get rid of this, my Kingdra will basically win after an Agility too. I actually don't need an Agility. I I'll need Focus Energy. It sucks that Scissor doesn't have life orb, but uh, we'll play around this. Secret power frits me. That's a bit unfortunate, man. I'm gonna lie. That crit means he 2 it KOs me now. Uh, whatever. I He would have 2 it KO'd me anyway. Mm -mm -mm. However, I can go into Scissor now. He doesn't have Focus Session. Because I don't have an item, uh, it will work out for me now. But I can get... Oh wait, his Focus Session is already proc'd. That's... it's whatever. Oh, I do have... 
Why does it not show that I have an item then? Uh, that's strange. Can go into Dragonite there. Uh, preserve the Scissor. Because Scissor can definitely win me the game. As he goes for Flamethrower. And I can just Extreme Speed here for a bit of chip. He's Life Warped as well. So that ends up working out uh, nicely for us. Because uh, it's going to be a life, life Warped Extreme Speed. I don't know if he switches out. But it doesn't really matter. He does it. So I get Extreme Speed damage off. And I get Life Warped damage off. A Life Warped Recoil. So... And he drops a special attack. That's really nice. At this point, I also think my Conkeldor will pretty much win. I'm just gonna Ice Punch here. Doesn't matter if he goes Weavile. The Earthquake's here. I don't need to uh, Mark Punch him. Ice Punch this guy. Scissor will already win at this point. He even goes into Weavile. What is that? Frozen... What does Frozen Claw even do? <laughs> what does Frozen Claw even do, man? And he forfeits, so we win our first game pretty cleanly, actually. Obviously, we did need to hit, hit the Hurricane on uh, the Conkeldor, but I wanted to keep up with Rocks, at least to the point where I can click Draco on the Rotom, because after that Draco damage, Sc Scissor would knock him out. I'm pretty sure... Uh, I'm pretty sure Mark Punch will kill him as well from Conkeldor, because it, 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 it is a life or max attack uh, Mark Punch. So I'm pretty sure that would knock him out. And I think the Rotom was also specially defensive. Because otherwise he would have dropped to... Yeah, it would have definitely knocked him out. Even if he was max defense, I think it still would knock him out, yeah. Because he was at like 21%, so Mark Pinch would definitely kill him. But I'm pretty sure the guy was... If I took it back... We were max invested into special attack. And Draco Meteor with a life warp. I think it would blow him back, but yeah, would it it did a lot it do did do a lot of damage and I think he was a bit sp specially defensive. Maybe it was a bit mixed. Anyway. Um, I still would have made the same play, so we can queue up for another one. That was a really quick battle. <laughs> That's usually what ends up with these teams. Oh, now I see Scissor with an item. That was strange. That was strange. Oh, well. <laughs> Scissor also running close combat, guys. Uh, due to a new update, uh, the Pokemon can learn moves. They uh, are... Uh, they can mo learn moves that are available in this game, uh, which they can learn in Pokemon Legends of Arceus. So uh, that's really cool. So if we look at this team review matchup thingy, obviously Stealth Rock is going to do a lot. And if I get rid of Ferret Thorin, King Dry will kind of sweep him. And basically, four Scizor, Conkeldor, and Dragonite will take care of the Ferret Thorin. Um, Dragonite can punch a hole into something. I think there's a Conkeldor hiding there. Yeah. Anyway, we'll do the same thing again. Like, we will always lead Aerodactyl here. As he leads with Rotom, doesn't really matter. Like, all we want is the Stealth Rock up. And he could also miss Hydro Pump if he decides to go for Hydro, so that's why I usually go for Defog on the first turn. And he goes for Trick, which I don't really mind too much. Give me a Sticky Barb. Interesting. Interesting. A Sticky Barb doesn't mean that I'm slower, so 
Still gonna taunt him. Like, I don't care. Like, Aerodactyl can die for my part, you know? If he doesn't kill me, I might be able to get off a Tailwind depending on which Pokemon he goes into. He doesn't, though, and knocks me out, but that's fine. Like, I was fine with sacking this mod. He goes into Conkel there. And again, um, I'm gonna make the Dragonite play. Hurricane just looks way too good to not go for. Like, I could definitely go for Draco, but again, it's a 75% chance to connect. If I don't get it, then it's just unlucky. But in case he switches, he goes into Rotom. Um, that's completely fine. I can Draco him now. And then, Dra then Rotom will be gone. I assume he's gonna be slower than me. Oh, that did a lot. Is he 51? How much is he at? 36. Hold up. Why did that do so much? He's is he is he? Re I guess he's max special attack, max speed. Um. Hold up. How much is my extreme speed gonna do? Because I might just go for extreme speed there. To a extreme speed. Let's assume he's timid. Extreme speed is like 30. 30 to 36. But that's actually not gonna kill him. To 96. No, I, extreme, extreme speed is maybe at level 50 though. I do have a bit of attack. It's a roll. Do I go for the roll? We have. I'm gonna do this off screen, of course, to not show the EVs. Okay, no, it's, it's not gonna kill. I'm gonna Draco. He's obviously defogging, but. Um, so I, he gets rid of my rocks, which is unfortunate. Would have liked to keep up Rocks versus Gym Mega. Uh, we do have a few priority moves. I have Weave Off for the Gengar. But we gotta keep Dragon Knight to deal with the Conkelder. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go into Conkelder. I should live one attack from this guy. He's probably just trying to Dragon Dance up. Uh, yeah, Ice Fangs. That's fine. I can just uh, Thunder Punch the guy. Unless he has Bounce, but that means I can switch. Just don't flinch me, come on. There we go. So Gyarados is gone. That was something I was a bit worried about, but we get rid of him, so that's really good, actually. I still have Scissor to somewhat get rid of the other guy. Um... If he's not, if he's speed boosts, probably has HP Ice though. Which can not, uh, I, I can knock him out with Kingdra afterwards. I'm just gonna stay in. I wanna know if he's Tinted Lance or speed boost. Okay, he is speed boost. Um, so I'll just go into Kingdra. And I'm gonna surf here. Paradorn comes in, uh, which is fine. I, I crit him here with my sniper. Obviously, not gonna change too much. Gotta keep Dragonite for the Conkelder. Gonna go into Scissor Air. Uh, I don't know if he goes for Leech or if he goes for Stealth Rock. He does go for Leech. I'm gonna SD Air. He should get leech recovery first. 
So that means he gets the flame orb. And I want to know how much close combat is actually going to do to him. This door. Because we're max attack adamant. With a life orb. I want to know if I can knock out this guy. With close combat. They're usually not max, uh, max, max defense. So close combat should do... I have a bit of time. Close combat should do... Plus two. Okay. Close combat should knock him out after the burn damage. Oh, there we go. Unless he's max defense as well. Oh, goodbye, Ferrothorn. Now King Jar wins. Look at this close combat, guys. <laughs> it's, it's really a big buff for Scissor that he's able to use close combat because close combat is a spammable move. Superpower isn't. I still want to keep the priority on this guy. Um, so what I'll do... I'm going to King Tron now. He needs to mock punch me anyway. If he knocks me out, I have King... Uh, I'm going to Dragonite. He needs to mock punch me. And otherwise, if he does break the Dragonite play, uh, I can still use... Oh, was that a crit? Yeah. I can still use King Drag to basically knock him out. And I'm just going to Draco now. And I, I want the guaranteed hit on something. And he goes into Gengar, and that should be a kill. Unless he's running Focus Sash. I'm gonna go into Weaver. Uh, I think he's more expendable. I don't think he knocks me out unless he clicks Bug Buzz. Because if I have Weaval in versus Conkeldar, if I have Weaval in versus Conkeldar, uh, that means he gets a drain. He gets that means he gets a drain punch recovery versus me. So at this point, I can take one hit from this guy, and then I can hit him with Ice Shard. It really doesn't matter. The speed boost is whatever. If, even if I hit Conkeldar, that's still a fine trade-off. Because I'm sure Extreme Speed into Bullet Punch will be able to knock out this guy as well. And he decides to stay in. And that's really good for us. And I'm just going to stay in and click Icicle Spare on the Conkeldar. I have Life Orb on this because I don't want to be locked into an attack. That's why I'm not running Choice Band. And I'm just going to click Icicle Spear. In case he wants to set up or something. Gets more, gets off more damage. I'm going to Ice Shard here. Assuming he needs to mark Punch me now. There is going to take the burn. And Kingdra at full should be able to knock him out. Because Mock Punch, I should not die to plus two uh, Guts Boost with Mock Punch. And Serve is a guaranteed hit. There we go. And we pick up our second win. So two pretty quick victories in a row. I like it. I like it. We can get in another one. Uh, like these battles are going really smoothly. And yeah, two wins in a row. So it seems really nice getting from raiding back after decaying. Like we decayed a few points, obviously, because we didn't play. But I'm going to pause the video, guys, till we find our next battle. Okay, guys, we have about 15 seconds before our next uh, game. If you enjoyed the video so far, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Um, it does help for the for the algorithm. Uh, also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And join our Discord server if you'd like to discuss this game. Maybe you have some PvP questions. It can all be discussed there. And guys, follow me on Instagram as I'm mostly active on there. And we're playing Trick versus Trick Room. Okay, does he have a Bronzong? I don't see a Bronzong on his team, so that's helpful. 
it, it doesn't change uh, what I'll have to do. So we'll, we'll just... We'll just go for this. I think Scissor kind of destroys him too. So... And I'll be taunting here. He either needs to attack me, and if he does, if he doesn't attack me, that's gonna be fine too. Just don't paralyze me. I should still be faster if he paralyzes me, but just don't. Ah, oh, come on, don't do, don't do me like this, dude. Not like this. That's kind of lame. I'm, I should still be outspeeding him. Hold up, I th actually think my scissor kind of straight up wins. Hold up. Scissor. Scissor. Defensive sword stands. So with thief. Versus a Copergigus. I want to know if I knock him out with the plus two. Hold up. Oh shit. He's Wait, he's going to lose. He's going to lose. I might, I, I might just straight up win there if he doesn't. Get any hex on me? Go into Kofergrigus. Go into Kofergrigus, boy! This is the tech, boys. This is the tech. Oh my god, this... Even if, even if I lose this, you guys are gonna see how scary this is gonna look. Goodbye! Goodbye! That's Kofergrigus gone, and I get to... I still get to do a lot of damage versus his team. I don't care. Close combat is still gonna do a lot to the majority of his team. And Technician is not gonna... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Not today, boy. Not today. Not today. Close combat! I think he dies. Goodbye! <laughs> Look at the scissor, boys! Guys, leave a like! Leave a comment for this, boy! The Red Devil scissor! I told you, guys! I told you! He was going to instantly lose to this Pokémon. Not, nothing is stopping me from clicking close combat again, dude. This is this is such a big buff for Scizor. Look at this. Look at this. Just look at this, guys. I'm gonna use uh, Thief anyway, because the only way he can win is if he gets up Trick Room. But I want to get the damage up first. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> he just got trapped. <laughs> I'm glad, guys, I played this game. Holy shit. I'm actually glad I played this game. Close combat scissor, guys. Close combat scissor. It's insane. Like with swords dance. Look at this. He just got 6 0 He just got 6 0 by this by the scissor. What are you saying, dude? I wanna be the very best, but now I am. Let's go! <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for Diablo. This has to be so freaking painful, guys. Guys, give me some hearts, or give give me some give me some smiles for this for this Diablo. Like he's having a rough time right here. He just got destroyed by one Pokemon. He's probably got to change up his team right now. <laughs> and he doesn't want to see his Ursa Ring die. Okay, I was really excited about this video, guys. I'll definitely share this video with other guys. That's Close combat Scissor is insane, guys. Like, it's really insane. They, they used to run Super Power, but... <laughs> never run Super Power or Scissor anymore. Close combat is the way. Holy shit. Like, this, this is so much fun. This is so much fun, and yeah, the thief knocking out the Kofagra because I didn't need the stealth rock damage for guarantee for a guarantee KO. Um, this is all scissor boys. Man, I, I really don't know what to say. Uh, all I can say is, guys, definitely hit that like button. Let's get this. Let's, let's get this video to 100 likes. That would be awesome. Like, we got a bunch of videos which got 70, 80 likes. Let's get this one 200 likes, and maybe I'll do something funny. Uh, maybe I'll do a, maybe I'll do a, uh, a comprehensive 
theme building video on this team if you guys are interested. I'm definitely not done with this team because I still want to do something with the Kingdra. I haven't really been able to get a Kingdra sweep off yet. Um, the other members were awesome. Dragonite showcased a lot in the first two games. Obviously, Conkeller was always a threat. And we have Weavile just because of the speed tier. Uh, like, the other members are pretty slow, yeah. We have Aerodactyl, which is fast, but uh, Kingdra, uh, Weavile with the pursuit as well but we run life warp on him um so that we don't we're not locked into a move when running choice band uh like i said we don't really care too much about switching unless the pokemon is still needed to get rid of another pokemon like dragon knight for conkeldor for example um but yeah um so like the video leave a comment down below let's get this video really high up in the recommendations like i am re i'm really excited about this video and yeah subscribe to the channel as well um we are at two and a half thousand subscribers on youtube and uh, getting that 3k seems also really awesome uh, before the end of the year i think we can get it uh, with your guys' help and yeah follow me on instagram if you'd like like i would really like some support on instagram as that's really what i like to do these days uh, just posting stuff on instagram and yeah, with that all being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope to talk to you guys in the Discord server. It's linked down below. And check out the Poker Paste. It's on Patreon. Um, I'll probably do a quick uh, text guide on Patreon as well on what my thought process was uh, building this team. So check it out. It's all linked down below. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.